I'm Sean Seafo here with my San Diego Comic Con 2022 tour video. And today I'm wearing my Pay to Die t-shirt. This is a, uh, the upcoming horror film that me and Lauren Francesca are co-directing together. It's gonna be a 1980s style a horror comedy slasher film. And you guys can check out right now the Indiegogo page uh, for the film to find out how you guys can help out the project. We have a lot of different ways you guys can help, like getting a special thanks credit on the film where you get a credit on the, you know, and the end of the film's credits as well as on IMDb. You guys can get, um, you know, producer credits on the film. There's even credits that come out and, you know, work on person in the film and act in the film. Uh, you know, there's stuff you guys can film from home as well, like be a video blogger or be a newscaster or be someone, you know, who's auditioning to be in the film. So a lot of different ways you guys can help the project. And thanks again, guys, for all the people who have been supporting the project so far. I appreciate that, you know, everything so much. Uh, me and Lauren cannot wait to bring Pay to Die to life. So thanks again, guys. But like I said, today is going to be my Comic-Con tour video. I'm going to go all around the convention, show you kind of all the things that we see there. Usually start in the autograph room, then go downstairs to the floor. Floor, get, you know, give an all-around tour video of the floor, all the kind of stuff that you see there. I've done, I think this is probably, I think I've been doing the tour video since around 2013, I believe. So always love doing these ones. Some of my favorite videos to do on the channel. I don't know. I just absolutely love doing these ones. So let the Comic-Con 2022 tour video begin. But we're now heading to the front area where you go to check in with your badge. Basically what you do is you scan your badge in. I'll show you guys where you go when you first go in. The other thing you want to do now too this year, and I don't, it'll probably be going on for, I don't know for future years, but you have to do a health check as well. So before you go into the convention, you have to go and show your negative result or your, that you had the vaccine. So you have to do that first. And they have a number of different areas where you can get that done around the city. There's some right in front of the convention center. There's also some that you could do uh, that are about 10 minutes away. Uh, the one that we did was about 10 minutes away. And when we went, the line was only like, we were in and out of the whole place in like five minutes. So it was very, very fast. But here we are at the front area. And this is the area where you would go to scan in your badge. You will go in through this area right here at the front door. And that's where you would go and scan your badges to go in. And now that we've scanned into the convention, there are the, the main area that I always go to first to start the tour is I always go upstairs to the escalators to where the autograph room is and where they have the, um, you know, a lot of the panels and stuff like that. Now there is panels in, as well at the, both of the hotels. There's one hotel down this direction, one hotel down the other direction, and both of those as well do have panels as well. So when you look at the guidebook, if you see some that say like a, a Marriott and things like that, that means that you go to the hotels for those ones. But down here, though, you also can get to the main floor area, and that's where you go to for all the dealer's rooms, and you find all the things for sale and that type of stuff as well. We're going to go to that area uh, next, but first, though, we're going to go up to the autograph area, and I'm going to show you guys where all the panels are and all that type of stuff as well. <laughs> Now we're going to head up the classic escalators. Every time I think of these, I think of the, um, the documentary. I always bring this up with Kevin Smith when he was riding up these escalators. I, n I never forget about that. It was him and Stan Lee. But yeah, this is one of those classic shots I always get here. Me going up the escalators to get up to where the autograph room is and where all the panels are and stuff like that. I don't know who's signing this year, so definitely going to be interesting to see you know, who's up here doing the autographs and stuff like that. When it comes to the autographs too, they have specific people who are up here for like today only or today, Saturday and Sunday, but then they have people who are only here specifically for one day if they're signing for like a TV show. And a lot of times with those ones, you have to get like a lottery and get there early to get the path, you know, get the ticket for it and stuff like that. But we're gonna go up there now and see who's signing. And if you guys remember in the years past videos, right here in this spot, they used to have a thing where you actually have to scan in when you came up here as well. It's funny, they got rid of that this year. But yeah, in all the other years when they started the system to scan your badge in, there was always a little scan in system right here. But it doesn't seem like they have that uh, this year. It seems like it's only at the entrance and exit areas. But when you're up here now, uh, this is one of the areas where you would go to pick up your badges uh, if you'd have to get them in person. But right here is where you see where the autograph room is, and that's down this front way. And then here is where you're going to see some of the panels. So this is kind of the entrance for some of the panel rooms. There's a few different areas where these are as well. And I'm going to show you guys where some of the main ones are. 
But first, like I said, we're gonna head to where it's the um, autograph area. But we're now gonna head into the autograph area. And this one I believe is called the Sales Pavilion is what it's called. And that's where they have the registration, the autograph, the portfolio review, the lanyards you can get. Uh, the, they have freebies, like they have like little posters and stuff like that and things promoting upcoming events. I'll show you that inside as well. But like I was saying right here, this is where you would go into the room. And then this is where you would also go into this room as well to get to some of the other ballrooms. And then a lot of the ballrooms are this direction right here as well. And here's some of them where it's the exit only. So you have to be careful too. Some of these areas are exit only. So do, you can't go through this way into these ones. But now though, we're going to head into the autograph area. When I think of Comic-Con though, I always think of this room. I don't know why. I feel like this to me is like my favorite like classic room at Comic-Con. I think it's just because I always remember coming in here in the past. And I've been coming to Comic-Con since I believe 2005. So I always love this one. I remember back in the day, like seeing Sid Haig up here. Can I buy some of your fried chicken? I hear it's world famous. What are you, stupid? Get away from me, fat ass. Don't ever come back here. And you know, Ken Foray and a lot of like people early on I was getting autographs from and stuff. So that was really cool. I just have a lot of really early memories from here. And what's so funny too is I've noticed this Wild Bill's soda has like popped up all in California. And if anybody knows like, oh, uh, it's from the East Coast. That was really big at like, uh, events and stuff on the East Coast, like all the um, kind of like street fairs and stuff like that, you'd always see Wild Bill. So it's so funny seeing that popping up out here, like all of a sudden. So we'll go through and see kind of who's signing up here today. It's usually a lot of different people. I don't know who some of these, someone here from special artist. See someone here from Supernatural Parody over here. Let's see, someone here from Stranger Things signing. From Fear of the Walking Dead, a voice actress over here. Let's see. And like I said, in this area though, it always kind of changes. So like this area, you can come and look and see like the autograph schedules. So you always want to check right here and it will show you who's signing, the times that they're going to be here and all that type of stuff as well. So let's see. Yeah, there's a bunch of people here from, from Stranger Things. Christian Jean here from Stranger Things. Let's see. Village. And then over here, guys, is where too, they have a lot of the bigger signings that happen. And these are the ones where you usually have to get like the, um, you know, the raffle for them and stuff like that. I remember back in the day, I remember I saw like, I'm trying to remember who I saw up here um, I, I think I remember getting Adam West back in the day up here and he was only like then it was like $40 or something like that and at the time I was like wow that was so expensive that was years back I remember like right here Eric Estrada was over here years and years ago so yeah I can't tell who's out here now I think I see oh yeah the one guy you know got a, got a light from um, you know um, uh, Twin Peaks he's over there as well so yeah, that's, that's cool. They, they usually have a lot of people from Twin Peaks over here. Yeah, Rob, Robert Broski, and he was also in Pee Wee's Big Holiday. But yeah, and then up here too is another area where you can sit down. They have some tables and stuff like that up here. But like I was mentioning, uh, if you go out that way, that's how you get to the ballrooms. So I'll show you guys some of the ballrooms out that direction. So now we've gone through those doors here into the ballroom area. And out here too, you will find a food area where they have like this one over here. Let's see what they have over here. I think it's like usually like nachos, uh, like chicken fingers and sandwiches and stuff like that from what I can remember in the past. We'll look over at the menu and see too. But yeah, I think it was kind of like pizza, hot dogs, things like that over in this area. But then, like I was saying, this is where they have one of the really, really big uh, ballrooms here where they have the events where you go for like a panel for your favorite TV show or movie and things like that. They have a number of these ones up here. So you have to look in the guidebook for which particular one that you're looking for. Uh, there's also though, Hall H downstairs. Uh, Hall H is the biggest of all the panel rooms. That's the one where usually like Kevin Smith has been in there. Uh, people like that, they usually have like their really big Hollywood tentpole movies are promoted in there, things like that. Outside of here as well, you'll find a lot of pretzel, pretzel carts. There's a lot of them out here as well. Uh, you know, that's the main thing you see at Comic-Con food-wise is a lot of pretzels. There's a lot of them and a lot of cookies. So yeah, if you go around this way, you'll come to more panels. 
uh, panel rooms and everything, but we're gonna head though to back out to where we were and I'll show you guys where the other panel rooms are and then how we get downstairs as well. And I always have this real specific way that I like to go downstairs and stuff that I learned years ago. It's kind of like a secret way uh, to get down there. Uh, I don't know, I found out about it a long time ago and it's feel, I feel like it's one of the best ways to kind of get down there quicker as well. And I also wanna to say too guys, thanks again for those of you guys who've been checking out the Pay to Die uh, Indiegogo and supporting the project. I appreciate it so much. And like I said, guys, thanks again for everything. And thanks for the continued support on this film. I cannot wait to bring this one to life for you guys. So thanks again. And like I said, when this video is done, definitely check out the, the link below and you guys can find out all about the film. But now we're going back to where we were. We're leaving those doors and going back into where the autograph room was. And now we're gonna head through these doors where it says ballroom six, rooms one through 19. And that's where you will get to the other panels. But before we head to that area and out to where you go to get downstairs and where the other panel rooms are, I'm gonna show you one area you can go outside. If you wanna kinda of get outside and get a little air, a good area to kind of get away from things, this is one of my favorite areas out here. And you can get out through all these different doors here to get there. So basically when you come outside here, there's a really nice area if you wanna kinda of get outside, if you wanna sit down outside, there's a bunch of tables out here. This is usually where uh, some of the times too in these areas, they have lines like overfill lines that wrap out, you know, outside and stuff like that. So all the way around the perimeter, you'll kind of see some areas like that too for some of the really big ballrooms and stuff like that. That's where they kind of have it wrap outside and stuff. But this is kind of a decent sort of secret area to come if you want to get outside or if you got food to take outside and you want to eat as well and take the mask off, things like that. And then over this direction too, here's you can see one of these um, overfill lines I was telling you guys about. See, there's a tent here and you see all these people waiting in here. I'm not sure what panel this is for right now. But yeah, that's like I was saying, that's what you see out here as well. But now we're gonna head back inside here and I'll show you guys how to get downstairs and where the other panel rooms are. Okay, so now we've come back inside and we've come right out of these doors and here you come through this way and this is how you're gonna go to get to the uh, panel room over this way. This is where they have uh, this area of meeting rooms on this side. And over here as well, there's a schedule you guys can check. This is the schedule where you would see uh, when you look at like room number six or room number nine, it tells you, you know, what's in that room and so on and so forth. But now we're gonna head down this way. And this is one of those things too, like I said, it's entrance only. So the other area I showed you was exit only. So you have to go through this way. And through here, you can see the area where we saw like that spillover line, probably one of these rooms was part of that spillover line uh, right here as well. Let's see if we can see what's going on in there right now. It looks like it's Avatar, Avatar yeah, Elements. Six, side, yeah, that's, turtle, yeah, so that's what's coming through. So yeah, these are the areas, like I was saying, where you would go to different uh, you know, panel rooms and stuff like that. Okay, so now we walked all the way around there and wrapped around and now we're gonna leave this area and we're gonna be heading out here and I'm gonna show you guys, this is my favorite area to go uh, downstairs. It's the secret ex you know, way to get down into the, to the convention uh, center area where the panels are, and, I mean, sorry, where the convention floor is. And for some reason, I've always liked this way. It's kind of the secret way to get there. And no one really does this way at all. It's way more secret. I'm gonna show you guys though, so you kind of know where we were. This is where we were earlier. You guys can see where the autograph room was. So you would come from this area, leave and go this way, this is where you get to a set of escalators. This is the way to get down to the secret area. And this is also, in my opinion, the best area for, to have the, the best view of the actual convention floor. I'll show you guys down here where the um, convention floor is, uh, the view is. But down here they have some, it's in this secret area. There's a few like people down here. They usually have like, it's like fan groups, uh, Star Wars fan groups. I saw like, Something over there for Jericho fan group, things like that down here as well. Let me show you guys though. This is where you would go down to get to the floor. But over here, I always come and look and this is where you get the best view of the entire floor. So anyone that always asks me, oh, where do you go to get that view of everything? You come over this way, this is how you see it. There is a food area up here as well. I think it's like pizzas and stuff. There's also down this way, some panel rooms as well, like some game rooms and stuff like that. They used to have like, I think back in the day they had like the bronies down here, I think I remember. So look over here, this is how you get to the view. This is like my favorite part to come to. It's sort of like, anyway, it's hard to explain, it's just an amazing way to see it all, but you can kind of see everything out here. It's like a promo card. It was recently, 
But now we're going to head downstairs and I'll show you how to get to the actual floor. So now we were just over there looking out the uh, windows for the best view. And this is where we came down the escalators. Now we're going to go down this set of escalators to go down to the convention floor. Like I said, this is always my favorite kind of way to get in. And not as many people go this way. And there's also, like they said, the really good view here. There's another areas of food that are a little less busy than the ones that are downstairs. So it's kind of like a more of a secret one to get the food. And it's like I said, it's just a little door over here to get in. And I think I found out about this probably like 10 years ago and I've always done it this exact same way. It's like the way to do it. But we're gonna head in there and now get to the convention center floor. And that's where they have all the things for sale and that type of stuff in here. So it goes all the way from down there, just kind of sort of the middle area and then all the way to the other side. So we're gonna probably start down on the end where the Funko Pop booth is and then kind of work our way all the way down through all the different areas here. So now we've walked from the middle area and now we are at the, all the way at the end where it's the number 5100. And this is where you would see the artist alley area and the back of the wall is where it's the Funko uh, booth. And they always have a lot of exclusives here. The one thing with this booth is it's tickets required. So you can't just get in line for this. You have to get here early. I think it's either you get here early to get the tickets or you go online on the portal to sign up for them. And I believe it's like a raffle or something like that to get it. But you can see though, it's getting very picked over over this very little bit there's not a lot left still so for friday this is all there is and there's still two more days of the convention so by the end of it i bet there's probably going to be next to nothing and they always tell you like to keep walking here like they kind of treat the funko pops like celebrities it's always kind of funny over here too you see like the mondo booth and this is like funkoville and they always like, do a really good job with designing this uh, booth for this one and then when you walk this way, you get to the Artist Alley area as well. This is where artists have their booths here for like their books, stuff like that that they're selling. Uh, you know, you see like a lot of small press and stuff like that all in this vicinity. I'll show you guys though a little look in here. But it's a lot of little things in here too, like prints, books, pins, stuff like that. But it's all the artists themselves, you know, uh, selling the stuff in here. And there's a, one sign that I, that I didn't recognize from last time over here that says special guests. So I don't know if they might be doing some kind of signatures down here or something as well. I'm going to see if I can get past the big skateboard <laughs> and see. I see some people here with like signs and stuff. So they must be parts of the lines here. But let's see who the special guests. See right here, this is a new thing I don't remember seeing where it says special guests. So I guess it's like certain people signing or something i don't know i'm not sure who, who it is over here but it's definitely a new spot i never remember seeing and anytime i remember this area too i think of one of the first years i came here around 2005 i believe it was and right here in this spot sid Haig used to sign that's where he always had his booth i don't know if any of you guys remember that but it was always in that exact spot And this year too, Mondo actually has a booth that you can go inside of. Usually it was just kind of one of the ones kind of like this where you'd walk up and you'd see like a, a wall of the prints. Now you can actually go inside of this area and say kind of a little storefront and everything for it. So that's really cool. And the other thing you see out here is the one Comic-Con thing, you uh, you know, that's kind of, kind of like a staple of Comic-Con and that is the wall of t-shirts. And that's down this way. This is one of those things that's always been at Comic-Con. I believe, I don't know if it's been here since the very beginning of it, but very early on, at least as, early, as long as I've been coming here, I always remember it. And like right here, like I said, it's the wall of t-shirts. This is one of those things, if you can't find a shirt here, you probably don't have it. It's buy three, get one free of all the shirts in here. It's not just a wall, it's a whole like tower. You go inside of it and it's all these shirts inside. You can see it goes all around and up and everything. See all around the whole place in here. But yeah, this is one of the staples here. So now we've, we've walked around back to where the Funko Pop was over here. And now we've walked around to look at the shirts. And now we're gonna start going through these areas and I'll show you guys some of the interesting things that we see in here. We'll kind of go through some of the booths and stuff like that as well. So now we're gonna start going down all the aisles. 
And one of the big things you see this year, though, at Comic-Con, I've noticed, in the la especially in the last probably maybe two or three months, these have really taken over, is Squishmallows. You're really seeing them everywhere. They even had some uh, Comic-Con exclusives. I was actually able to get one. It was like they only made 250 of it. It was actually a pretty cool one of like this octopus, and it had like very little color to it, and some people were kind of calling it the emo uh, Squishmallow. They were kind of cool, though. But like I said, these are the big things now. And I, I think there's a couple other booths that have exclusives of these ones uh, here as well. If you remember though, it's, it's still of course Funko Pops. You still see Funko Pops, but Squishmallows have become kind of the new really big thing. I guess you would kind of relate these almost to the modern day like Beanie Babies. They kind of have that same kind of thing going on, but almost bigger I feel like than them because they have more exclusives in different stores and stuff from what I can tell. So now like I said, we're gonna start going down all the aisles and checking out all the different stuff. As you get to the middle area, that's when you start getting to where all the studio booths are. Like there's a lot of, it's not as many of like the companies as much as much this year around. It's a lot more streaming services. So you're gonna see like Hulu, Netflix, Paramount Plus, uh, Disney Plus, a lot of them this year. Nickelodeon is here though. And they usually have some signings at that booth as well. But like I said, we're just gonna start going down all these different aisles. And I'm gonna show you guys some of the interesting, you know, interesting things that we come across along the way and everything. And if you guys watch my channel, I always like to show, the main thing I show on my channel is DVDs and Blu-rays and that type of stuff. So there are a lot of different uh, DVD and Blu-ray booths here. This is one of the bigger ones here for anime and manga and stuff here. But over here is a really good area for manga books and things like that. And there's also some anime DVDs and Blu-rays in here as well. And I saw some interesting, you know, ones you don't see, like not super common ones, but they have a lot of issues in here. So this is definitely one that's really worth checking out in here. And it's pr probably after going through uh, this, the convention and everything already, I'd say that's, this is definitely the main one I've seen for the best selection here. And I don't think I remember seeing this booth here in the years past. So I think this might be one of the first years I've seen them though. And I'll definitely say though, this year they have a lot more when it comes to like anime and manga stuff than the years past. I feel like there's a whole lot more uh, this year. And this year around too, I, I feel like when it comes to what they have for sale, they have a lot more, I, I don't know I don't know how to explain it. It just seems like a lot more higher quality items and just really, really cool stuff for sale. And I think it's just because too, this is the first time they've had Comic-Con since, since you know, 2019. So they really, really worked to have really great stuff this time. Cause they had the Comic-Con special edition in the winter out here, but it really was very small and not a, not at all the same and the one thing too you'll notice is up here there's always numbers above everything so basically when you have the comic-con guidebook that you get um, when you come here uh, when you get your lanyards and everything basically you take your comic-con guidebook if you're looking for a specific booth and you basically would look in the book and look up for example Nickelodeon it would say like 4300 and you know and that would be where you would go to find a Nickelodeon booth so that's why you know all the numbers and stuff like that are above here and that's just basically a marker for finding where the specific booth that you're looking for uh, is <laughs> And like I was saying, guys, uh, when it comes to the food, the area in the secret spot I was showing you is a lot, uh, much, you know, uh, easier area to go to. And like, see, if you come down here to eat, it's very hard to find a table. It's like there's, a, there's spots down here, but it's always usually busy and usually people are just kind of sitting in the seats. So I think if you get the food, uh, you could eat, you could even get it here and then bring it upstairs, honestly, if the lineup there was too long. But it's honestly a pretty good secret area to take the stuff upstairs because it's really difficult to find spots down here. But yeah, this is one of the many food areas down here. There's the one here and then there's, there's another one down that way. And I think there's like probably one or two more as you go down. Sometimes they're not all open, but it looks like today, this time around, all the food stalls are open. But I'll show you the other ones as we come to them though. I believe though it's all stuff like chicken sandwiches, chicken fingers, veggie. Oh, they have veggie burgers now. I don't think they had that before. Uh, cheeseburgers, hamburgers, fries, onion rings, that type of stuff here. And right over here too, they have the uh, Disney Plus booth. Like I was saying, that's kind of the big thing you're seeing now is all of the company's, you know, uh, streaming versions that they're really promoting more. So they have the Evil Dead, the game uh, booth over here. And they were doing some signings over here as well. Like some of the people that were from the show. I think that Bruce Campbell, I think he might have, is it covered over for Bruce Campbell? Let's see. Oh, no more tickets. So yeah, Bruce Campbell was signing with tickets, but Tom Savini was signing, Sean S. Cunningham. 
And they have some posters here too of Bruce Campbell that they're giving out. Those are pretty cool ones. Let me go grab one of these for the game here. Over here too, there is a, a Hulu booth. This used to be the, um, the Fox booth here, and now it's um, the Hulu booth. And they have some t-shirts and stuff for sale here and stuff like that. This is where they used to always give out, if you guys remember from the past videos, the poster, uh, big poster tubes. And this is one of the, the really popular spots right here too. They have like a Bob's Burger um, you know, booth right here. This one is always has always had a line ever since the beginning. I always remember seeing that. And what do they have over here? It looks like a lot of t-shirts and like merch and stuff like that. So a lot of pins I can tell, buttons and stuff like that over here. So that's very cool. We're now getting to one of the big areas of, of Funko Pops. This is kind of like the shirts area, but it's kind of like the whole wall of Funko Pops in here. Uh, and then what was the other thing over here? They have some really cool posters in here. Like I showed in my last video too, this really cool Lost Boys one that they have here. And then there was also a really cool one down here for True Romance as well. As a kid, I didn't well. appreciate it. When I got into movies, I went back and watched them. Like, this is a fan Right next to the Disney booth over here, they have a quick stop booth here promoting uh, Clerks 3 here. And they have like a photo op that you can get of a, st of, you know, a standee of Jay, you know, Jay and Silent Bob and you know, uh, Dante and Randall from Clerks. So that's really cool. And they were, I think, I don't know if they're still giving out the bags anymore. They were giving out like the um, quick stop bags and stuff over here. And there's a QR code too that I think probably would go to the trailer and stuff as well. Here we are over at the Nickelodeon booth. And when I was here on preview night, they were doing like a photo op over here of, you know, uh, for SpongeBob SquarePants. And they had, you know, the voice actors from SpongeBob. It looks like right now they're doing a signing for, um, I think it's for Transformers Earthspark over there. So some of the voice actors from that show uh, there as well. I, I, know, I know the one guy there. He's definitely from a lot of TV and stuff right there in the middle. So that's cool. Yeah. Oh my God. But around here too, they have a lot of different photo ops and stuff like that. A lot of times too, when you see like someone dressed as Deadpool, there's a lot, every so often at conventions, it's actually Ryan Reynolds. I think they said it was him at Monsterpalooza apparently. I don't know. People said that though, that he goes to conventions and dresses as Deadpool. <laughs> so who knows if that's true or not, but people say it. Here's a look though at the, um, it's also they're promoting the Monster High, the movie over here as well. So there's kind of like a little walkthrough thing that you can go through for the movie over here. And then around the side of the Nickelodeon building, there's also some, um, some other things that are showing like for sale. I think I saw like some of their upcoming products and stuff in here. Right over here you see like um, some old school, like who are these things they had in here? Like backpacks, little purses bags and stuff like that in here and here we are at the Netflix booth here and they're playing like trailers for their future shows and movies and stuff like that over here and I think they have some some stuff you can buy over here as well so yeah a lot of uh, items and stuff for sale in there and over here is the Dragon Ball Z group over here they have these statues and stuff and then there's a bunch of like um, stuff over here, like some of the figures, like upcoming figures for sale and stuff like that. That's the one thing that you see here too, is a lot of like prototypes and stuff like that for upcoming action figures and stuff like that here. And over here though, they have one of the other photo ops that you can do here. There's a lot of these photo ops that you can get. Uh, this one here is for Beavis and Butthead, where you can sit down on the couch with Beavis and Butthead and then they print out a picture over here for, I think they print it out for you, but you basically can sit on the couch with Beavis and Butthead and get a photo. And they also have over here as well some merch. This is all to promote the new Beavis and Butthead series that's gonna be on Paramount Plus, which is like pretty much the main reason I wanna get that streaming service. But here's kind of an example of what the picture looks like, but they send it, like I said, they send it. And over here though, they have a lot of stuff for sale. And these are things that I think you can probably only get at the convention. It's like, uh, you know, Cornholio t-shirts and all these different types of stuff over here. Here's some of the things that are for sale over here though. Over here though is the NECA booth. This is always one of the real popular booths over here. I actually got on preview night for my dad already. They have Rob Zombie's figure here for the um, his movie, The Monsters of the Zombo character, which is from the original series, uh, you know, the show as well. It was a really cool one. And people already have it on eBay for like crazy prices. It was like, I think it was already $150 on eBay. But here's a look of it in here, and you can see kind of, you know, what it looks like, but a very, very cool one right here. And here's a look, though, inside at some of these ones that are in here, the exclusive ones today that you can get and everything. 
And over here though, you kind of have to watch this like this loop music stuff. But in here though, they have one thing I think is really cool is they have a dinosaurs figure up here. This is coming in 2023. And these are really cool. Like as a kid, I absolutely love that series. And that's really cool. That's one I really didn't expect they would make figures of. So that one I definitely can't wait. And this is cool too. All these gargoyles ones over here as well. Over here too, they have these really cool Jaws figures. I've never seen these ones before. I've never seen them ever do any Jaws figures like that. But this one is really cool. This Elton John one. And it has two different heads that you can change as well that's a really cool <laughs> Over here is some kind of a, I think it's like the Hot Wheels booth. And there's something over here that everyone is like building. I guess, oh, it's like a race car thing. Like they're doing like racing the cars and stuff down there. I guess it's like Mario Kart Live or something. Yeah, Mario Kart as Hot Wheels. So that's kind of cool, like a racing they're doing down here. But they have in here like, you know, like I was saying, like the early things where you can kind of see some of the upcoming wrestlers and stuff like that in here. That's the one thing that you, that's really cool is it's basically like almost like those books back in the day, like the previews where you'd look at them, you know, the toy books and stuff like that of upcoming figures. It's pretty much just like seeing all the stuff in person here. There's Jurassic World upcoming figures here. So yeah, all these different ones in here in these kind of really cool dioramas. A bunch of the upcoming Master of the Universe figures in here. These ones? And it's funny, over here at the Star Wars booth, normally they have like music and everything blasting really loud and everything. I guess they're like, it's turned off because they're doing some kind of an interview or something over here. I guess that's why, because I've never been, been by this spot where you could actually like film stuff and look at it without everything being really loud. So it's like a lot of costumes and stuff like that from Bubba Fett and Obi-Wan Kenobi series and stuff like that. So that's very cool over here. And it's funny, they're doing something. There's like, in this particular area, I, guess, I don't know what they were doing. There's a bunch of people standing there like blocking something. I don't know, but maybe they were doing a signing over here. I don't know what it was, but there's a lot of people in this spot at one point blocked something. I don't know what, what they're doing. She's over here painting a mural for uh, Comic-Con. That's pretty cool. It's a Sonic and Knuckles mural that they're painting for this one. Oh, and there's Kevin Smith. You always see him in this spot. I think it's the same guy. I think you're always here in this spot. Every year. He doesn't say anything, though. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I was mentioning, too, like, back in the day when you would see, like, um, you know, upcoming toys and stuff. It was basically in stuff like Previews Magazine and all those type of ones. This is the preview one right here. They also used to have one that was, like, a Toy Fair magazine, if you guys remember. And that was kind of, like, the early way that you would see all this stuff the upcoming figures and stuff like that. But now, you know, of course, the Comic-Cons, you can come and see all this stuff in person. So that's the one really cool thing. I think this is the new, um, you know, Text Chainsaw Massacre figure, I believe, for the new one. So that's pretty cool in here. This is always one of the most popular booths here. This is the Hot Toys and Sideshows side Collectibles booth. And they have oh all of these God. really detailed uh, busts of things here. And there are like so many different ones in here. Lots of different, uh, it kind of ranges from superhero, like Marvel, DC uh, characters. To there's Spider-Man stuff in here. There's Star Wars I've seen, Rick and Morty. Lots of different stuff in here. Book of Bubba Fett stuff in here. And they go through. But well, we're going to go through some of the stuff in here. Like I was saying, there's a lot of different ones. There's some alien ones over here. These ones are, it's funny, These there's a few of them that are not in glass too. So these ones here, you can kind of get really close on them. See, like these, they, I don't think I've ever seen them when they don't have glass around them. So these ones people can get really close on. And there's a really cool Ripley here. And this is a really cool one here of Terminator. Yes. These Terminator ones. Right now. But yeah, there's, you gotta be really careful here not to like bump into anything. These are very expensive ones. Like I said, these are always the most popular busy area in here. That's what the people are looking at. There's an Iron Man one of him like taking, getting the suit taken off. These are new ones here too. I've never seen them do like Universal Monsters ones. I showed also too on my tour one. I showed, I mean not the tour, the video I did on Wednesday here. I showed the Fonz ones. These were very cool. These, hey. <laughs> so here's some of the um, the Star Wars ones over here, like the Clone Wars. So yeah, lots of different stuff in here. Like I said, these are this is always the real popular spot here. Yeah. 
These are some of the things that are available at the Good Smile booth uh, today. Oh, they have this one. I guess this is available. That's a really cool uh, Joker one. I saw this one earlier today. That's a, the you know the Tim Burton's one. That's very very cool. But yeah, this is at the like I said the Good Smiles booth right over here. And at the beginning of the tour, guys, when I was showing you, uh, you know, where you can get the, you know, the really great view of everything, that's the area. So that's where I was when I was looking down. And that's the area where you're going to go back up to get back up to that secret area. So basically what you're looking for is where there's a sign for the small press. And then right there, there's an area that says restrooms, meeting rooms, Bayside Cafe. So yeah, if you go through that one, that's how you get back up those steps and the escalators to get up to where that view is. Then you can get another way to get back up to where the autograph from and everything is. So that's a really good kind of a secret way too to get back upstairs as opposed to having to go all the way through and you'd have to kind of walk Otherwise, like you'd have to go from here, go all the way back this way, and then go all the way around to where the escalators are and find the specific ones and then wrap all around. So that's a much, much easier, uh, to, you know, kind of like a tip and a trick you know, way to get upstairs. And as we start walking this direction, we're gonna start getting towards where it's much more of the comic book areas and you see much more of the comics for sale and stuff like that. The main area where you really see the whole grouping of comic books is right along the back wall is where you really start to see it. But you start to coming across in this area, the small press, independent publishers, a lot of that stuff in this area. There still is toys and games and all that kind of stuff mixed in, but this is the kind of the main area where you start to see a lot more of that stuff in this vicinity. And you don't see as many of the studio booths over here, so you don't see any more of like the Hulu or Netflix or any of those ones. Those are all kind of in that main area over there. And like I said, as you get to this area, it starts being more comic books, the toys, small press, and that type of stuff. And that's the other thing you see here too, is many, many mystery boxes. There's a lot of different areas of these. You don't see as many as you did in the years past, but there still is a lot of these. And they're all different kind of boxes that relate to things like one Space Jam, one, one of them Star Wars, one of them is like Invader Zim, one SpongeBob. So they're all things that relate to that particular character and property and stuff like that. And over here, this is the um, the UCC collector's booth. And look at how long the line is for this one. When we were here on preview night, I think it was like no line. And I think you could just go right up to it. But this is one of those areas where they have kind of like a collection of a lot of exclusive items together. So it's like a distributor. And they have lots of different ones all kind of together in here. And like, I, it's, it's kind of weird. It's like, this is the main spot to get a lot of these. And they have a few, I believe, exclusive Squishmallows over here as well, from what I can remember. I remember back in the day at this booth, I think getting a King of the Hill action figure. Uh, I think that was probably 2018 or 2019 they had a King of the Hill figure I remember getting here. But right where that area I mentioned to you as well, where you would go upstairs where the, um, the good view is and where the, um, the, the UCC distribution booth is as well, there's another area to sit down uh, where they have tables and stuff like that. And right over here, they have another area of food right here. So it looks like there's two main areas. This is the one area, and then the one all the way down the other end is the main uh, food area. And I think it's the same things over here from what I, what I believe. Um, it might be a little different. This one says it says personal pizza, assorted salad. So there might be a couple things that were not the other one. I'm not 100% sure though. But yeah, this is one of the other um, main food spots. But like I said, it's still the same kind of thing where it's usually pretty busy and hard to get a table down here. So probably better to go up to that secret area. These are cool things over here too. I've never seen that morph. And they're like, they go from with Sid Haig. Uh, yeah, and you can it see it changes between you know Captain Spaulding, you know Sid Haig in and out of makeup. So that's really cool. These are there's ones here of Jason and you know Michael Myers, Good Guy Doll, you know Chucky. That's these are very very cool. Never seen these ones before. And this booth here makes me miss uh, Cheeto. He was somebody that I would always see around the convention all the time, and he would always dress as this character Everyone all the time. So yeah, so it's so cool. It's too bad he's not here dressed as the character today. He would always do that throughout the years and stuff here. 
but as you see down here is this this area we're kind of near the very end of the floor now where it's getting to the 100 area and this down here is where they have some video games you can try stuff like that as well but also there's a lot more like retro toys and classic posters and stuff like that down here so over here at this booth this is the one that has like a lot of like old school original posters and they also have like a lot of dvds and blu-rays over here as well and some more like obscure kind of stuff like stuff from shop factory and kino larbor and stuff like that over here but like i was saying lots of different you know retro posters and stuff like that and over here is a really good retro toy booth it's funny there's not as many retro booths of, of action figures this is like kind of one of the main ones there's some stuff mixed throughout but not as much this year but the one guy here was from that show the toy hunters it was on years ago but they have a lot of really cool stuff in here some of you guys might remember that show back in the day i used to really like that one i guess it was like 2010 maybe it was on until like 2012 maybe but yeah they got lots of really cool stuff in here Lots of gem figures, and they have the Bill and Ted figures up there. Those ones I remember back in the day. But like I was saying though, down here is where they have all the different video games and stuff like that. They have like Blizzard Entertainment, and they have you know a Lego a Star a Lego a Mario Brothers down here of Wario. It's like a moving one too, so that's really cool. But there's like down here is like Capcom has some booths where you can you know play some of the upcoming games and stuff like that. In the years past, I remember they used to have a thing for Resident Evil where you could kind of walk through like a haunted house. I never got to go through it. I always wish I got to see that. And they have like some other more random things mixed over here. But here's one of the areas where you can play some of the games. Capcom Arcade Stadium over here. And here's some of the Street Fighter games that you can play over here. And also here's another one of the t-shirt uh, walls of t-shirts you can go through right here as well. This is the second uh, wall of t-shirts that there is here. But like I was mentioning, down in this area is where you will see a lot of the comic books, graphic novels, and things like that. And as you get going further back this way, we're starting to walk a little bit. We were down at the end where all the games were. Now we're kind of starting to walk back to where we, we started from. But down this way is where you come across all of the different comic books. And they're mainly in this vicinity along this wall is where you see most of them. You see a lot of the graded comic books in here that are like, you know, slated and stuff like that. The more really expensive, like really expensive ones here. Here's some of the ones that you can go through. So like I said, back in the day when the convention started, it was all about comics. It was just basically all about that. But now throughout the years, it's started to become more about pop culture and things like that and about movies and, th and TV shows. But in the very beginning, it was all comic books. But there are still comic book booths here. Definitely not as many, you know, but this is the main, you know, area where you see them and everything. And back here too, let's see if there's anything else interesting to show as well back here. And that's one thing too you're seeing a lot of now is like original, uh, uh, the original like artwork versions of it before they were colored. I've been seeing a lot of these this year. And I, I don't remember them in the past, so that's kind of a cool new thing to be seeing. And this is I think where they do the, um, the grading of your comic books. So if you bring comic books here, they do actually the grading of them here. So that's kind of cool. You just have to be very careful if you bring a really rare book that no one bumps into you or messes it up or, or something. Because people, they do run around in here and bump into you a lot. So if you have like a really collectible book, you're going to get to have them grade. Make sure you have it in something very safe for if somebody bumps into it. Because see, they're grading everything now. So they're putting like video games in here, you know, VHS tapes is the new thing. So like if you have like rare tapes, they all of a sudden they become very valuable lately. So be, don't just don't chuck them anymore, especially if they're sealed. Have, have them graded because they've been starting to become very valuable again. They kind of have, have had a big comeback. Like I said, this is kind of the whole comic book area and everything. Now we've exited from the um, convention floor, which is right in there where we were looking at all the, everything that was for sale. When you come outside of here, this is where Hall H is, but there's actually a huge line for it. And I'll show you guys, though, where all the line is and everything for lining up. But outside of here, though, uh, there's a lot of different areas where you can get snacks and stuff. There's a lot of like pretzels down here, and it kind of goes all the way along to right where we first came into the convention center, This all this way. So there's like little snacks. I think there's some Starbucks coffee down there. So that's all the kind of stuff that you'll find along this way. But we're going to go outside right now, out these doors, and I'll show you guys, though, you know, where the line is and everything. And you have to scan out when you leave. You have to scan here, and you're leaving. And then we're heading outside now. 
And this is the area though where everyone goes to, you know, to line up and everything. But outside of Hall H now though, we're gonna head over to where the line and everything is. So this is, let's see how long it is now. I don't know what the big panels are this year and what they have in this room. But let's see if they're all lining up the same way because it's usually been a huge line maybe it's different now though because see now i don't see everyone out here so it's weird that's very strange that either there's not as big of things in there because i see some people because if you guys remember the videos in the past the line would wrap through all of these things corrals through it so it's right now i'm only seeing a couple people you know out here so that's kind of funny it's very different so maybe they're doing something different with Hall H this year, but this is where you would line up to get into the to, into it and everything. So like I said, maybe it's a little different uh, this year, the way they're doing it. Now, if you go out here though, this is one of the other buildings, this is the Hilton. Now in the Hilton is another area where you will see uh, some more panels. So some of the, the spillover panels you'll go to for, to get into, into the Hilton. Also though, on the other end, all the way down to where we first went in is where the Marriott is. And that's the area where they have a Dragon Ball Z exhibit. They have a lot of anime, uh, in there, uh, rooms where you can watch anime screenings, film screenings, stuff like that in that room. And guys at Comic-Con, you never know who you run into. Sometimes you even run into theme park vloggers that like to tell you about the time. It's 5.55 p.m. Yes, it's Paging Mr. Morrow, and I have been watching you for years. Paging I've been Mr. watching Morrow. you for years. Yes, for it's a long insane. time. Yes, it's, yeah. a, yeah, it's a great to see you here. Yeah. Like, you, know, you comment on the post, and you're like, be sure to look out for me. I was like, yeah. I had no clue you were coming here. It was like a secret. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, man. And then the second I saw you, I was like, oh, I'm so excited. I know, and you made it in the tour video. You're in the yeah. Comic-Con tour video, and you're actually ending the video. Nice. You're the end of the Comic-Con tour. Well, I feel fancy. I know. So this everyone, check out Paging Mr. Morrow. I'm sure you're going to be covering the event very thoroughly yeah yeah videos get everything yeah so check him out online you guys are gonna like the video he does all kinds of videos around theme parks he even went to a place that i loved as a kid dutch wonderland dutch went there wonderland recently. yeah that was a favorite park of mine as a kid i went there all the time uh -huh. you, you know what you didn't show though the water slides you skipped that whole area that was the one area since a kid i love the water slides but you know what i have all my electronics and yeah, stuff so you couldn't go, yeah you couldn't go down but that's the one area i always remember as a kid and as a kid I couldn't go down the water slide because the, it was a 200 pound weight limit. Oh, so really? I was only able to do it for like a little bit of time. And then they were like, sorry, the limit's fast. Oh, yes. But man. it was great to see you, Pedro. Oh, I'm yeah. glad I got to see you in the video. Yeah. Thanks guys though for checking out, you know, the, the Comic-Con video. Be sure to check out the Pay to Die campaign guys. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.